All right, we were going to talk about templates and title blocks and all that kind of stuff, and I wanted to show you just really quickly the templates that Revit uses because obviously in mine there's a construction template, an architecture template, and then I have a custom template set up um, as a quick link. But I wanted to just really quickly show you the difference um, between these templates. So I'm just going to click on New. And we'll use, um, if you go to New, you have the same options here in the pull down, but you can also go to Browse, and it will automatically take you to the Revit uh, template folder. And you see you have a commercial, a construction, a default, which is generally the one it opens up with, an electrical, a mechanical, a plumbing, um, a residential. So I'm going to open up the commercial and the residential, and we're going to take a look at the difference in these. Now, the RTE is the the file extension for a Revit template and what it's going to do it's going to open up a blank file with settings but then when it prompts us to save it will save it as a Revit project file which is an RVT so I'm going to select residential and click open and it's going to create a new project from that so I'm fine with that I'm going to click OK and it's going to open up a blank file but you're going to see over here in the views that there are several views already set up so like um, basement, first floor, second floor, roof, roof framing plan. There's also some ceiling plans. Elevations. Let's take a look at the elevation. If I go to south, I can see that multiple levels have been set up. A roof, a second floor, a first floor. There's a foundation level, basement level footing, another top of footing, bottom of footing. So all of these have already been set up. You'll also see that there are some schedules, a door schedule, you know, already set up, lighting, window schedule. <clears throat> so there are multiple things set up in here. Um, we can also, if we go back to, say, our floor plan view, go to first floor, you have elevation symbols, which are not overly attractive, um, that are set up for you in a specific place. If we go to, let's say, wall, wall architectural, you can see that there are a series of wall like wood shingle, wood shingle on wood stud, wood siding, um, generic, some interior partitions with dip board, all of that stuff. And there are different roofs and windows and stuff that are loaded in here. So let's go ahead and go to, let's go to file new and let's open up the construction template. All right, so I'm going to click OK. And now here's the construction template. And you can see that those levels are quite different, right? It has a bunch of 3D views set up already. And if we go to one of our elevations, <clears throat> you'll see that it has a similar setup, but there's also like a basement slab, an end of wall, right? And if we go to a wall, let's go to our one of our level one plans, because that's where you can draw walls. And if I go to wall, wall architectural, and I go to the pull down, you're going to see that you have different wall types in this one than you do in the residential one. So, and <clears throat> probably they're going to have in the sheets. Let's take a look at the sheets temporary schedule sheet, substructure, superstructure. So, I bet the title block's the same because, you know, it's ugly and they use it over and over again, but um, right now if I go to WT, all of those windows are opening on top of each other. So I'm going to close some of them up. Right, let's just go. This is project three. I'm going to close hidden windows for this one and then WT. So now we've got Project 2 and Project 3. So Project 2 was started with the residential template. So when I highlight it, you can see the difference there. And when I highlight that, it updates. Other things that you'll be um, dealing with will be like level heads, section cut markers, um, obviously the title block. Um, we looked at that earlier. So we'll be working on all of those things and updating them. We won't be updating walls and and floors or windows, um, loadable 3D families right now. We'll save that for later. All right, so I just want to give you an idea of what we were working with. 
Um, again, this is opened as a template, but when you go to save it, it will want to save as a Revit project. So it won't overwrite that template. It leaves it there for future use. Okay.